What's up my stats stars? I'm Michael Perchak. In this video, I want to talk to you about a brand new calculator that's going to completely change how you do everything in AP Statistics, making it so much easier than anything you can do on an online calculator or with the ti 4 I'm super glad I found it. It's called the NumWorks calculator, N-U-M-W-O-R-K-S, and there's three ways you can access this calculator. One, you could purchase it, about $89 to $99, or you could access a free online version of the calculator that's fully functional. Everything you can do on the purchase calculator, you can do on the online calculator. You could also download an app for your iPhone or Android phone completely for free and have full access to everything I'm about to show you. All right, so I'm gonna have several videos that walk through different things that this calculator can do that are awesome, gonna make your life so much easier for AP statistics. But in this first video, I just wanna start off with how it can really make looking at beautiful graphs of quantitative data really, really simple and analyze all that quantitative data for you. So let's dive right into it right now. So when you open up the calculator, you'll see that it has apps, just like your, your cell phone would have. And you're just gonna move the cursor to the apps you want. The big app that we're gonna use is statistics. We're also gonna use the regression app, and there's one down below for distributions and inference. But right now, we're just gonna go to statistics. So click OK or execute. Now, the first thing you wanna do here is actually enter in some data. So what I did was I went ahead and had some teachers at my high school do an obstacle course, and I recorded the time in seconds it took them to complete that obstacle course. So under the data tab, notice there's three tabs at the top, data, graph, and stats. You're just gonna select data, and you're gonna start typing the data in. Now in the frequency column, that's just how many times that value occurred. For the most part, you're just gonna type all those in, and those are all gonna be ones, meaning they all occurred one time. But if you did have a couple teachers that did 95 seconds, instead of typing in 95, 95, 95, you could type in 95 in the frequency of three. But most of the time, you're just gonna type in every single data value. Now, once it's all in there, you're just gonna go ahead back up to your tabs and slide over to graph and hit okay. Now check this out, so much better than TI-84 calculator. If you go up to histogram and hit OK, boom, there's your histogram. Look how beautiful that is. You can easily see the skewed right with a definite possible outlier there way to the far right. Now, all we wanna do here is we can actually now move and click on the right arrow button and look at each bin. It'll tell you the interval size of the bin. For example, this one is 70 to 75. And it'll tell you the count, how many, the frequency, how many teachers fell into that bin, how many times are in that bin. And you also get the relative, which is the percentage of all the times that are in that bin. So about 30% of all times were from 70 to 75. Now, if you don't like how the bin is set up, you could go straight up to settings. You just gotta use those cursor here, move over to settings, hit OK, and you could change the bin width to whatever you want. Maybe you want the bin width to be 8, and you want to start at 50 for whatever reason, and go ahead and hit confirm, OK, and it'll take you back, and there's your bins that now go by 8, starting at 50. So pretty cool, pretty easy way to take a look at your data. All right, let's go back to graph, and let's go and click on type. So again, we're going to that little, moving our cursor to where it says type. And let's take a look at a box plot. Hit OK on box plot, and boom, there you go. Look how awesome this is. You can also move the cursor to the right, and you'll get the min, Q1, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, the upper whisker, and then the max. Now notice in this case, that max is an outlier. So how awesome is it this identifies outlier? That means that this bottom whisker goes to the next highest value that was not an outlier. You could also go under settings here and you could change it to display outliers or not. For AP statistics, we definitely want to display those outliers, but for you know basic elementary statistics, maybe middle school, something like that, you don't necessarily have those outliers. We definitely want those outliers turned on. And that's pretty cool there, pretty simple to do and not too difficult at all. But how cool is that, that box plot? Again, really, really nice and simple. It shows you everything you need. You can see that it's skewed to the right because the data on the right is way more spread out than the data on the left. Pretty nice and simple. All right, we can also go back to type and we could also do a cumulative relative frequency graph or a normal probability plot. Now, if we go down to that normal probability plot, we see right away that the data definitely doesn't follow a normal distribution, and that's pretty obvious there as well. But all these really cool things that in, in ITD4 calculator are kind of hard to access, or at least they're kind of cumbersome how you get to them. It's so simple to do this. All you gotta do to go is graph. And then again, don't forget to go under type, and you could select the different types that you wanna see. Pretty cool. All right, the last tab up top here, if you go all the way up, we got data, we got graph, and now we have 
have the statistics. So click on OK, and it gives you all the statistics, and they're so much better labeled than on a T84 calculator. It gives you the total number of values, it gives you the five number summary, the min, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the max. It gives you the range, it gives you the interquartile range, all those things that the T84 calculator does not do. It gives you the mean, it gives you the standard deviation, it gives you the variance, and it gives you the sample mean and the sample standard deviation. Now, a couple of really important things I wanna talk about right now. Now, notice that if the values you put in were just a sample, it was a sample, right? there's hundreds of teachers at the school, we just took a sample of a few of them, and then we definitely wanna be reading the sample mean X bar and the sample standard deviation S for our data. However, if, there, if we had all of our data in there, every single teacher in our high school, our entire population of interest, then the mean would be the mu, which again is the same because the format to find the mean of a population is the same as the form that find the mean of a sample. But the standard deviation of a population is a slightly different formula. So that's that sigma value that we see right here, and that would be the 16.05 versus the sample standard deviation of 16.303. So I hope you understand that. But again, if you know that you put a sample in, which in AP statistics is always gonna be the case, we get that X bar and we get that S, our standard deviation. And you can continue to scroll down here and we get the sum of the values, the sum of the square values, a couple different things, um, your modes, the mode frequency, a bunch of different stuff there. But pretty, pretty cool, so awesome. I absolutely love how this calculator works. What this calculator could do is just so much faster, easier, and way more convenient. So hopefully you like it. Again, you don't have to go out and buy this calculator. You can go to their website, which is in the link in the description below, and you can access this calculator completely for free. Or if you've got an iPhone or Android, you can download the app for free as well and check this out. This calculator is allowed to be used on the AP exam, but on the AP exam, you are going to have to actually use that handheld calculator. So if you want to use this calculator on the actual exam, you definitely are going to want to use you know, purchase that calculator. So maybe you want to try it out for a little bit, see how much you like it. And then by the time the AP exam comes in May, you find out like, I really need this calculator. Then you want to go ahead and purchase it. All right. Talk to you later. Hopefully you like this video and hope you like this calculator. It's really cool on checking out descriptive statistics.